Hey everyone, starting to work on the forward and rear spar today. I've uh, got Noah with me out in the shop, and um, I was working on this main spar aft strap, and I was using a little file to kind of take off some of these metal shavings you see everywhere. It looks like it's plasma drilled or something. And I looked over at Noah, and he's smiling at me, and I looked what he was doing. He's sitting there eating all the aluminum shavings, so I hope he's okay. But um, I stopped him really quick and got the vacuum out and uh, vacuumed the rest of the shavings up. But I'm going to continue to work on the forward uh, spar until I get that finished and go from there. I have the piece measured and clamped down with these plastic clamps. So I was thinking about using my metal C clamps, but um, it would A, scratch it a bit, and B, um, these actually put enough pressure on it, but I can still uh, push pretty hard and slide the piece, you know, microns difference and in, in where it needs to be to, to fit perfectly. So I'm going to drill my first pilot hole and put a, a silver Clico in and then do a couple more pilot holes with silver Clicos then I'll drill it up to the proper size. This is going to be CCP-44 rivets and these are a bit bigger than the 42s I've been using in other parts of the plane. Got the first four holes drilled and I'm going to go and finish up the rest of them. I drill them all the silver size. Don't make it go straight to um, uh, the gold size Clicos, uh, the eighth inch. but. Um, I really want to make sure I, I drill these properly because this is pretty thick aluminum and aluminum is in general kind of soft so if you drill it up too quickly you can kind of tear it. So I'm trying to slowly step drill it up from uh, the silver to the gold size and I need to continue to go. Alright I've got it drilled up to the eighth inch size properly. I left this hole right here undrilled because that's going to connect through a, um, a silver size Clico hole um, 0.97 I think uh, to the rib over here when I connect it all together but I'm going to put the two um, extra fins on in a second and show you this. Alright now I got these last pieces in. I'm going to show you how they look compared to the plans over here. This is the piece I'm building when you have it sideways like this. Um, you see here is this particular piece coming out sideways. On the opposite side is this particular piece here. And then this is on the outside of the, um, the, the channel spar. And so now what I have to do is go deburr everything, uh, wash it with uh, the cleaner, and then paint it. And then I'll start driving some rivets. There it is all painted and re click it back together. I'm going to drive uh, nine CCP44 rivets and three CCP46. Those will go here. They just have to be a little bit longer uh, to go through these extra two metal bits. But uh, you can see the the green from the self etching primer and how it all fits together. And I'll go ahead and do that and finish this one part. And that's the final piece. I'll rivet it up properly. I have the bigger rivets on the bottom here and uh, left these top ones uh, unriveted just because they're going to be connecting later. But I got another piece done, so thanks for watching and I'll try to do a little more work on the tail here for a while just after the move and everything has been crazy. So uh, it's nice to have the shop ready to go and have the airplane ready to work on. Thanks. Bye.